now we are going to be analyzing and designing a reinforced concrete building but before that you first need to know how to analyze and design a basic reinforced concrete beam now if you take a look at the screen we have a reinforced concrete beam that has a roller support at point b and a pin support at point a and we are also having three points load acting on this beam now the first thing you need to do is you first need to draw your coordinate uh, system in sub 2000 so basically this is where the beam is going to be placed so we have to draw the coordinate system or the grid system now we have three coordinate system we have the s axis we have the y axis and we have the z axis now you need to understand how the grid system in sub 2000 work so in sub 2000 the S axis, so this is basically the S axis, then this is the Y axis, Y, this is the Z axis. So basically, this is the negative S, this is the negative Z, and Y, this is the negative Y. So this is negative Y, negative Z, and this is negative S. So this beam we are going to analyze and design this beam is basically located on the s axis as you can see here yeah? this this beam is located on the s axis so if we if we draw this beam so let's say we draw a rough sketch of this beam so let's say this this is the beam so let's say this is the beam and this is the pin support while this is the roller support so as you can see, this beam is located on the SZ coordinate, as you can see, because if you want to see this beam, you will see this beam in the SZ coordinate. So now let's draw this uh, grid system. So this is the first thing you need to do. You need to draw the grid system. So now if you are looking at the theory coordinate system at once, that is the S, Y, and the Z uh, coordinate meaning you are going to see this in 3d but if you are taking a look at just two coordinate system meaning you are going to see this in 2d because we are seeing this beam in just two coordinate system that is the s uh, axis and the z axis so meaning this is in 2d so take note of that so now we need to go to sub 2000 and we need to define the grid system